Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a makeup tutorial inspired by Casey Holmes. So I actually did not watch a YouTube video on this at all. I just picked a um, makeup look from her Instagram, this one right here. And I pretty much just went off the picture and did my own thing. And yeah, so if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so one thing that I know that Casey Holmes always does is she does a full glam beat. She's always doing full coverage, so that's what I love about her, and she has oily skin, so I thought, why not try to recreate a Casey Holmes makeup look just by a picture? I know a bunch of people on YouTube right now have been doing, I tried to recreate, blah, 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 makeup tutorial by following their video but I wanted to try and do it just by a picture because in reality some people don't watch YouTube videos some people just look at pictures and then try to recreate them themselves I have absolutely no idea what product she used on her face in this picture try to go for products that look like in the picture so uh, let me pull up the picture really quickly pretty much it's a very soft glam she has a nude lip which is awesome I love that and then she has like a gradient eye so on the inner corner it's really light and shimmery and then on the outer corner it's like a it's more of like a pink burgundy smoky eye and then she has a wing and falsies on I'm gonna leave the picture here all throughout the tutorial just to see if it actually like looks like it step by step. Of course I'm going to prep my face before any makeup application so I'm going to use the Mario Badescu facial spray. This is the green one and then to minimize my pores because I know she has larger pores I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and this is like the pore minimizing one. And for my foundation today, I'm going to use the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. I love this. It's so affordable. It's very lightweight, and I love the way it looks and how it feels on the skin. We're going for extreme high coverage today because that's what Casey does. Because she does have um, rosacea, oily skin, so she just loves to cover up everything. Do you guys see how pretty this foundation looks on the skin? Like, I think this is the perfect finish because it's not too matte, but it's not too luminous. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. So for my concealer today, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer, and this is in the shade L6 Neutral. I forgot to tell you guys that the foundation is in the shade Natural. She likes to highlight her face a lot. Like, she puts on so much concealer. And, I mean, I'm not hating because I put on a lot of concealer too. So, I'm just highlighting where she always highlights. And to set this, I'm going to use the, the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. I haven't used this in a hot minute. I've been using my Cover FX powder like crazy. And I totally forgot I even had this powder. my brows I'm gonna use the NYX micro brow pencil and this is in the shade uh, ash brown and I'm first gonna spoolie through them so for my bronzer today I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer in Tantastic I'm using this crown brush. This is really for like setting your whole face, but I like it for bronzing the face. So I'm just dipping in here and then just bronzing the cheekbones, forehead, and jawline. For blush today, I'm going to use this Ofra blush. This is just like a single pan blush. She looks like she has really rosy cheeks in this picture, so I'm just applying a lot of blush today, and then I'm just going to um, blend it out so it's not so crazy. And for my highlighter, I'm going to use the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This is just a very golden toned highlighter. It's very um, pigmented and very beaming on the face, so... Mm -hmm. 
So I think the face portion is complete. This looks very similar to her picture. Very golden, very rosy, and um, a lot of blush. So now we're going to move on to eyes. So this is what the eyes look like. They're more of a simple eye with a little bit of pop of color on the outer V. And the wing just really makes it and probably the lashes too. I'm going to use the Tartlet in Bloom for like the matte shades and the transition. Just gorgeous colors. And then for the shimmer or like the lighter color on the inner corner, I'm going to use this Blink and BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette. This just has a bunch of different colored shimmers in it. So... Let's start with our transition shade, and I'm going to go in with Smarty Pants right here. So I'm going to take the Morphe E27. The next shade I'm going to dip into is Rebel. This is more of like a deeper burgundy. And then for the outer corner, just to deepen this up a little bit, I'm going to go in with the shade Leader right here. This is like a dark purple with a hint of brown in it. And I'm going to blend this out so there's no harsh edges with that first brush. Just on the lid and then on the outer corner. So to make this shimmer really pop on the lid and just make it stand out a lot more than just going in with your finger, I'm going to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue and just apply this all over my lid into that darker shade. In the Blink Palette, I think I'm going to go in with this shade. She did do a wink with this look, so I'm going to use the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. And it looks like this. It's like in a little pot. And I'm going to use the brush that goes with it. This is the Sigma Winged Aligner E06. Okay, so I did the wings. This one's a little worse than this one. This one actually looks really good. This one I messed up like 20 times and I just gave up. So these are the eyes. I just went in and applied falsies really quick. For the bottom lashes I'm going to take um, the shade Smarty Pants as our transition. Then I'm going to go in with Rebel and smudge that right above Smarty Pants. And then I'm going to take a little bit of leader and only focus this on the outer corner. Now we can apply mascara. <laughs> So my shimmer is a little bit more golden tone. My shades are a little bit deeper than hers. But overall, honestly, I think I'm pretty impressed with myself. I'm going to use the Tardis Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Low Key. It's just a really nice nude. Alright guys, and this is the completed look. So this is the makeup inspired by Casey Holmes. Um, honestly, I'm pretty impressed with myself. The only thing that I think is a little bit different is my outer corner is just a little darker and deeper than hers. I think she tried to stay more towards like the pinks and I was more towards the burgundies. But I think that's all that's different. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. I thought it would be different to switch it up on my channel. And if you guys want me to do like the... the tag that's going around YouTube like I tried to do blank blank makeup tutorial then I will but decided to put a little spin of my own on it so yeah definitely subscribe to my channel before you leave if you're not already give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will catch you guys in my next video bye loves